So today I'm gonna to show you how to do feeding braids. We're gonna be using this gel right over here, Shine and Jam, and I have the product in the comment area so that you can um, get it if you want. So first of all, we're gonna divide the hair into three parts. Then you wanna grab your gel, and you're going to just apply the gel to the hair that you separated. Now if you have difficulty with starting off braids, this method will help you out a lot. So now what I'm going to do is I've already separated my hair. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the braiding method. So to do the braiding method, all we're doing is we're going to start off with a simple braid. So you're just doing a simple braid. One, two, three. Once you get to the third one, you see I have one strand of hair over here, I have another strand, and then I have this strand of hair behind, right over there. So you wanna get your smallest hair. So you start off, since this is a feeding, we're starting off with the smallest part first. So you take your smallest hair, and you're gonna attach it to this section of your hair. So we're gonna attach it right over here, put this on top, let it merge, and this one will come like this so we're gonna sweep this hair that is on top let it join up with this hair on this side okay so make sure you hold it taut and then we're gonna start braiding together when you start braiding you'll notice everything will merge you see how it looks as if i didn't add any hair so this is also known as knotless braid because you have no knots that start the hair and then you're just gonna keep on braiding like that you see how neat it is? One, two, and three. Okay, so now the third one does have hair on it. So what you want to do is you want to do it again. Okay, and now you notice that the fourth one, this fourth time you went around, this doesn't have hair, and this has hair, and this has hair. So I want it to be a bit equal. So I'm going to grab more hair at this time, join it up with these fingers. This is the most important fingers. So these pinching fingers, the first and the second, the thumb and the second finger are the most important. So I'm going to join this up with this, this up with that, and the one behind is on its own. So when you bring it together, make sure they're together and take your time because you want it to be very seamless. You don't want anyone to know that you added hair. So as you can see, you see how neat it looks. Take your time if you're learning. If this is your first time, just take your time. Don't rush the process like this. You see how everything looks nice too? Okay, three. So now everything, all the hair, all of them have hair in it which is good you can stop adding hair at this point but if you do want to add more hair you could add more hair i'm adding a little bit of bigger hair to this so just adding it right here and we're going to repeat the same thing this is the last time we're adding hair just take your time so that it's very seamless and it doesn't even look as if you added hair sweep the hair underneath and keep on braiding and this is the way that you can do a feeding, not less braid. And as you can see, I can continue braiding. And as you can see, it looks, doesn't look as if I added any hair. You cannot tell the difference. And adding the gel really helps it look very, very smooth. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you what to do with the end of the hair. Thanks for watching, don't forget to follow. Bye.